Hey and welcome back to another Darkfall tutorial. In today's video we're going to be looking at how to create a cinema graph. So if you don't already know what a cinema graph is, it's essentially a mixture between an image and a video. So some parts of the shot will be still, some parts of it will be moving. And that's entirely up to you which is moving and which is not. So yeah. So let's jump over to the movie clip editor and then we can go ahead and load in our movie clip. And by the way, this is pretty much the same as the last tutorial, it's just a little bit different. So if you followed along in the previous tutorial, you probably already know how to do this. Um, let's first set the scene frames and then prefetch the movie clip as well. So essentially we want the milk to be moving but the bottle not. So we want to take a still image of this here. I'm going to press render. And of course we'll get this problem so we need to go to the node editor and then we want to make sure you change this to the scene tab and then you also want to make sure you check use nodes and backdrop so you get these two nodes here we don't actually need the render layer so we can delete this one if we can shift a and add in a movie clip or if you're working with an image sequence you can use that too connect them up and then if we select this here, this icon here, we can select the footage we've already loaded in. And since we have backdrop enabled, we can shift A, add in an output, and then a viewer. Let's give that a render. And we're happy with this, so while hovered over the image, we can press F3 and save this out. rename this to whatever you want save as image so now we've got that we can press escape let's go back and we need to add the mask so let's jump over to the movie clip editor so we want to create a mask of just the glass and kind of the stream of milk pouring in so we need to change this over to the masking mode and then we can go ahead and add in a new mask. Since we've only got one mask, we probably don't need to name it. Okay, so now if we hold control and left click, we can add a mask point. So you can see this tiny little point here. So I could do that again, control, left click. Just want to add a few points around here. And I want to make sure I don't um, include the handle. And I'll show you why in a moment. So just keep control and left click in until you've got your mask. And then Alt C to close the mask. Okay, so I'll just scrub through here. If you look at the handle, you can see that the shadows and the, there's some things moving in the handle. So obviously, we don't want to add that into the uh, the moving shot. We need to make sure we don't get any of the glass as well. And you might want to animate these. So if the bottle is moving too much, you might want to animate this. So again, press the red button and move the mask around. But I'm happy with that. So let's jump over to the node editor. So Shift A color and mix and we can plug this in here so if you've got the node wrangler add-on enabled you can press shift control and left click on the node to view that as well shift a let's add in an image shift a add in a mask we can select the mask here and then we also want to plug this into the factor we can see we've got this white shape here which uh, doesn't look too good but uh, we need to load in the image as well this still image that we took before and then plug this image and we don't want to plug it into the bottom one we want to plug it into the top one so if we had it the other way around the bottle would be moving and the glass would be still if we zoom in we can see it's uh, it's not really blending too well what we can do is just add a feather to the mask So let's just jump back over to the movie clip editor. Press A to select everything. And if we hold shift and then left click one of these points and drag this out. If it doesn't feather this way, try and pull it the other way and you need to flip the mask. So if uh, that's if you went clockwise with the mask. So here's another example. Um, it was a little bit tricky since the women in the shot were moving, so the reflections on the ground was a bit of a tricky as well. So as I created the mask, I had to keep scrubbing through the footage to see where they walk past and what parts of the image or what parts of the shot they'll be um, 
changing. For example, this woman here on the right I had to keep changing the mask and shortening it so she didn't go through it. But it's basically the same technique, just depending on what image and what you want to show, the motion. So again, it's the same nodes, shift A, add in a image, add in a mask, add in a mix, plug them all together, and you've got yourself a cinemagraph. <laughs> so it's pretty simple to do, and it's all down to what images you make and what images you want to combine um, to make something look really cool. So then when you're happy and you want to render everything out, make sure you select the file format. I'm going to use H.264. Also the resolution settings and make sure you set the file output as well. So you can add some color grading and then go ahead and render it out. So hopefully this tutorial helped. I know it was a lot like the previous one, but um, somebody was asking how to make this and I've never made a cinema graph before, so I thought it'd be fun to try it. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching.